Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to talk about uh, 3D graphing, specifically uh, parametric surface. So what I'm going to do is uh, add a graph, and this clearly is not 3D, right? You graph like this frequently. So if you press menu and go to view, uh, you can change it to 3D graphing. So right now we're in graphing. You could also do plain geometry. Not a big fan of that because I think GeoGebra is a lot better. Um, but then uh, 3D graphing, so option three. And this is actually in function mode right now. So Z is a function of X and Y. And that's not what I want either because I want to graph parametrically. So if I press menu and go to 3D graph entry edit, uh, I have function and parametric is an option. All right, so that takes me here. And this is where I want to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph the um, cone from the other video that I had made. Uh, so it's going to be... You know, if you're in here and you press tab, it bounces you out of a template, which is really annoying, but I don't know why they leave it like that. Uh, anyway, t minus 8 over negative 2 and cosine of, if you look, uh, the parameters you're allowed to use are t and u. So I already used t there, so I'm going to use u here. And I'll bounce accidentally out of there. So really what you want to do is arrow down. Uh, and then y is going to be t. And then t minus 8 over negative 2, and if I use cosine before, i got to use sine this time. And what I'm going to do is just press enter and see what happens. So I do that, and you can see that I'm not really getting the full cone that I wanted. Um, one of the reasons is that this box that it's graphing within, you can actually kind of see, is going from uh, negative 5 to 5 in all directions, and I definitely need to see uh, y equals 8 to get the entire thing. Um, also, I'm only seeing the top half of what would be my cone, um, so I'm kind of seeing like a quarter frustum at this point, or a half frustum, I guess. Um, that's probably because the angle that is generating the circular cross sections is only going from zero to pi. So I have to figure out how to change both of these things. I need a bigger box, and I need a bigger value of theta. So let's do the uh, box part first. You can do that by pressing menu, and go to range slash zoom, and we want to change the range settings. Um, so negative 5 to 5 is okay for x, uh, but the one that I need to change is this. So I'm going to go from negative 1, uh, negative 1 to 9, because that keeps them 10 apart, so it's still going to be a uh, cube. Uh, so the aspect ratio will still be kind of 1 to 1 to 1. And then uh, for z, negative 5 to 5 is also okay, because z and x have the same dimensions. So I'm going to press OK and see what happens. Um, so the box is definitely bigger, but I'm still only seeing the top half, and now I'm not even seeing the tip of this cone. Uh, which tells me that the uh, parameter for t, which is determining what y can be, is not going up to 8. So we'll, to change that, uh, if you press tab to get the entry line back, and then up to get back here, if you arrow over to uh, this little dot dot dot, which is edit parameters, and click it, you can see what we're having trouble with. So t is determining y, so I need t to go from 0 to 8, so I do that. And then u is determining the circular cross sections, so I need that to go to 2 pi, if I'm going to get the whole thing. Uh, so now if I press OK, it should work. So let's see. Uh, so it takes me here, and then uh, I'm going to click again. And then if I kind of click and drag around, you can see you could also use the arrows to do that. It's a little slower, but, you know, not really bad. Uh, there's the little cone. So uh, that's useful, because now I can see if what I think is happening is actually happening. Um, we can also add a plane to this. So, but you have to think about that. So if I want to add the plane uh, x equals 1, so obviously x is 1. Um, if you think about it, every point that's in that plane is of the form 1, comma y, comma z. So what I'll do is I'm just going to let uh, y equal uh, t, and I'm going to let uh, z equal u. Right, so now I'm plotting all the points 1, comma t, comma u, and then t can be anything... Uh, that that parameter is allowed to be, and you can be anything that parameter is allowed to be. So it should plot uh, the plane for me. So I'm going to press enter and see what happens. And uh, there you go. It's only plotting a really tiny little plane there um, because we're facing the same problem with the parameters. Uh, so if I change it, so t is, if I make that go from, let's say, uh, negative 1 to uh, 9, I think. So those are... Uh, the same settings that I had for uh, y in the box. And if I make this go from negative 5 to 5, this should work. Uh, let's press Enter on that. And there you go. Uh, and you can see, actually, so we're cutting a cone with a plane. And what we're getting here is a hyperbola. 
And if you watch the other video, you can figure out how to find the equation of that hyperbola. And then you could come back to uh, your Inspire and uh, graph it. But anyway, I hope you found this helpful, and uh, good luck.